اعوذباللہمنشیطانرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی عمری و حلل اقدتا من لسانی افقہ قولی بیسکلی وی وانٹی تو ہیو سم سم انکلوین فرام دی جنرل پبلک یو انی وی ار نوٹ ایبل تو دو دیت وائل وی ار ان آر آفیس سو وی فارڈ آف دوئنگ دیت ان ای پبلک پلیس ویر وی کن انوائٹ مور پیپل So this is the first event that we are uh, welcoming all of you guys uh, over here. And, but this is, uh, only, this is a member only um, meeting and we are going to hold it uh, on every Friday, inshallah. And this is going to be a member only meeting and uh, for the English speaking audience mostly. And the reason uh, we thought of doing this uh, is because there has been, there has been, no disturb, disturbance please. Everyone please be seated. Okay, Bismillah ya wala huwa akhira. So, um, so anyone uh, who would watch this, uh, this lecture online, uh, if, if you want to attend uh, this public lecture uh, on every Friday, you can go to awaysnaseer.com slash join. Awaysnaseer.com/join. You can go over here and uh, over there and register yourself. Uh, this will be a very selected audience. Uh, only 10, 12 people we are we would be allowing. Uh, initially, later on, uh, we might allow more people. So the basic thought came from uh, the idea because uh, some international, internationally renowned people. Uh, I won't call them scholars. Uh, have spoken up about Imam al-Mahdi and they have uh, said things that are not uh, close to the truth. Uh, like they have mixed the truth with assumption and given an impression that this is the truth. So I, we thought we better like fix the record. So we are going to cover five W's of Imam al-Mahdi today. So why the personality of Imam Mahdi? Why is there a need of the personality of Imam Mahdi? That's the first W. The second one is who will be Imam Mahdi? Number three would be where will be Imam Mahdi from? And how will Imam Mahdi recognized? Then where will be Imam Mahdi from and when will Imam Mahdi appear? That's four W's and the fifth one is what will Imam Mahdi do? And the bonus is going to be how Imam Mahdi would be recognized, right? Okay, so starting from why we need Imam al-Mahdi? Why is there a need for such a personality? Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let the end of the world wait for Imam al-Mahdi and why a, such a personality, why the stage for such a personality has been built in such a way that not only Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam told us, predicted things about Imam al-Mahdi but we find the traces of such a personality from the previous ummahs as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Abad Audu Billahi Minash Shaitan al Rajim, Wadullahu Ladina Amanu, Wahamilu Salihati, Layastakli Fannahum Fil Arab, Kamastakla Fal Ladina Min Kabli. That Allah will give the Khilafa, will make, will make his people rule his world and who were those people wa'adallahu alladheena amanu wa amilu salihat is the promise of allah with the people who believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in oneness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa amilu salihat and do the right right deeds wa'adallahu alladheena amanu wa amilu salihat la yastakhlifannahum fil arz that they will be made the rulers of the earth on behalf of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la yastakhlifannahum they will be the khulafa they would be the appointees of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth. لَيَسْتَخْلِفَنَّهُمْ فِي الْأَرْزِ For sure, for sure Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make them rule this world. 
and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells in Quran that this is the promise with the believers and this is the promise that was made with the previous ummas as well وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الذِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِسُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ That we mentioned in Zabur, Allah is telling in Quran that we mentioned in Zabur that I will give, I will give the ruler, ruling of this world, I will make my people rulers of this earth. وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ That we have written in Zabur أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِثُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ That the pure people would be made the rulers of this world. This was mentioned in Zabur as well and Zabur was sent upon Hazrat Dawood the King David as the Western people know it. So there has to be a personality that will establish Allah's rule on the whole earth that is what Imam al-Mahdi is going to do that is why a personality like Imam al-Mahdi is mentioned in a hadith and you find you find not all not the mention not the name of Imam al-Mahdi in Quran but you find the signs the intentions the directions in the Quran, the signs that Imam al-Mahdi, that such a personality who would establish Allah's rule on the whole earth would be coming. And that is going to be Imam al-Mahdi. So that is why. Now coming, who will that personality be? There's the second W. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always, always sent prophets Remember this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always sent prophets in the lineage of prophets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always sent the prophets in the lineage of the prophets. Every prophet was the son of Adam, obviously. But coming to Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam, Hazrat Ishaq alayhi salam was from the lineage of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salam was from the lineage of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. Hazrat Isa, uh, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, King David, Dawood alayhi salam, Suleiman alayhi salam, all were from the lineage of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. And then coming to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he was also from the lineage of Ibrahim alayhi salam and he was from the lineage of Ibrahim's son, Ismail alayhi salam. So, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also came from the lineage of Ibrahim alayhi salam. So this is Allah's special mercy on and, and this was this was the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to Ibrahim alayhi salam that I have written Nabuwa in your lineage. So Nabuwa has ended on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There is going to be no prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But the purpose of mankind on earth has not been fulfilled yet. And the purpose of mankind was? There is no purpose of creation of mankind and the jinns but to establish Allah's rule on earth. But to establish Allah's oneness on earth that the jinn and the mankind must be must bow to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must only accept the rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's the purpose that has not been established in Adam alayhi salam and how it will be established it will be established in a way that Allah's deen Allah's oneness would enter every home on earth so now this has not been established at the time of Adam alayhi salam, this was not established at the time of Shisa alayhi salam, this was not established at the time of Idris alayhi salam, this was not established at the time of Musa alayhi salam, it was not established at the time of Dawood alayhi salam. Hazrat Sulaiman alayhi salam was the king of the whole earth. Whatever the excess, wherever the excess at that time was. But still Allah's deen did not enter every home on the whole earth. 
So it was not established at the time of Sulaiman It was not even established at the time of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who has come as the single prophet for the whole mankind, for the whole earth. So this would be established before the closing of the earth, closing of this world. And this will be established at the hands of a person whose name, is, who would be called Imam Al-Mahdi. And where are we coming from? We were talking about the lineage. And, where, and whose lineage this person would be from? Obviously Ibrahim alayhi salam. And since Ibrahim alayhi salam, initially Allah promised with Bani Israel that Anni fazzaltukum ala al you are the selected ones. But when they tried to kill Isa alayhi salam and they continuously disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah said, Waba'u bi ghazabim min Allah, you are rejected and you are the cursed ones. Then Allah promised, then Allah promised with Bani Ismail that now kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas that you are the selected ones now onwards and you are the better than previous ummas right so Imam al-Mahdi would be coming from the lineage of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and since since Bani Israel was cancelled now onwards it has to be from Bani Ismail and in Bani Ismail he would be from the lineage of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us Al Mahdi yu minni and in other uh, in other uh, references Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, told Al Mahdi yu minna ahl al bayt so uh, Imam Al Mahdi has to be from and, and in other references we know that he would be from the lineage of Fatima a lineage of Ali uh, anhu, and he would be from the lineage of Hassan anhu. so that is what who will Imam al-Mahdi be so he would be from the lineage of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so he would be the son of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam like Muhammad was the son of Ibrahim he was from the lineage of Ibrahim alayhi salam, so he was the son of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Similarly, Imam al-Mahdi would be the son of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, just like Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was the son of Ibrahim alayhi salam. So that is who Imam al-Mahdi would be. Now coming to the third point, where Imam al-Mahdi be from? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam told in one of uh, hadiths that يُقْتَطَلُ عِنْدَ كِنْزَكُمْ ثَلَاثِ Kulluhum ibn Khalifa that the three would fight three would three would be like there would be a war a battle between three people Kulluhum ibn Khalifa all three of them would be the son of a king then they won't be able to to agree on any one of them summa tatlu rayatu sudi min then from the east there would rise the black banners and they would kill these fighting people or whatever the people creating chaos in Muslim Ummah like they were never killed before. They were never fought with before. Then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned something that the Ravi doesn't remember and then it comes that فَإِذَا رَأَيْتُمُوهُمْ فَبَايِعُوهُ وَلَوْ حَبْوًا عَلَى الثَّلْجِ فَإِنَّهُ خَلِيفَةُ اللَّهُ الْمَهْدِي Then those people coming from the east فَإِذَا رَأَيْتُمُوهُ When you see them فَبَايِعُوهُ وَلَوْ حَبْوًا عَلَى الثَّلْجِ then you have to give bay'ah to them even if you have to crawl on the glaciers فَإِنَّهُ خَلِيفَةُ اللَّهُ الْمَهْدِي because the Mahdi would be leading them Mahdi would be coming with them Mahdi would be the one leading that that force so Mahdi is in the east so we, we have covered where first one was why then who third is where 
Imam al Mahdi has to be in the east. Now, uh, we forgot one thing in who. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told even the names and, and the physic, name and the physical features of Imam al Mahdi. Yuwati ismu ismi wa ismu abihi ismu abi. Yuwati over here in this hadith is very important. Yuwati doesn't mean exactly the same. Yuwati is like something that's parallel, that's rhyming, that's similar to something. Yuwati ismu, Yuwati ismu ismi. His name would be like my name. And ismu abihi, ismu abi. And similarly, his father's name would be rhyming, would be similar, would be like my father's name. So that's one point we forgot in who. We would, we would close it towards the end where, where we are going, you all know. So this is why, who, where. Now coming, how. How Imam al Mahdi, that's the bonus point, how Imam al Mahdi would become popular or how Imam al Mahdi would be recognized. So, since we have discussed Imam al Mahdi is not going to be a prophet, Imam al Mahdi cannot receive wahi, cannot receive revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he is not going to be the Prophet. For that reason, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, Al Mahdiyu minna ahlul bayt, yuslihu Allahu fi layla. Imam al Mahdi would be someone that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would fix in one night. That's also telling that he is not going to be a Prophet because Prophets do not need to be fixed. And any other person, needs correction every other person from the sons and daughters of adam have mistakes have shortcomings so imam al mahdi would be one of them and he need, needs correction and allah will fix him in one night so imam al mahdi is not going to be a prophet so how imam al mahdi would receive messages from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how Imam al Wadi would establish Allah's Khilafah, Allah's ruling on the whole earth how? there is only one way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can talk to a person and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can send messages to a person like the person who is not a prophet and that is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told in Surah Al Yusuf, the two people accompanying Prophet Yusuf, Prophet Joseph as the Western people know, received the dreams and Prophet Yusuf salam told them the meanings of those dreams and eventually those dreams came exactly the same. Similarly, the king at the time of Yusuf salam also saw a dream that eventually came true exactly the same. And now in a hadith we find lots of references that after the prophethood has ended, there's only one way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can send messages to his people, his chosen ones, or anyone from the ummah. And that is the dreams. Like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told his sahaba then when there would be nothing left out of prophethood, then only Mubasharat would be left. Sahaba asked, what are Mubasharat? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told that a true dream a person sees about himself or someone else sees about himself. Other hadith tells that the dreams are the 46th part of Ummah. And there are numerous other hadith about, um, about the dreams. So there is no other way Allah is going to establish, Allah is going to appoint his Khalifa on earth. There is no other way Allah would talk to him, Allah would correct him, and Allah would make him rule 
the whole world Allah would make that person remove all of the sections Allah would unite the whole ummah there is no other way but but the true dreams that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do the messaging through so that is how Imam al-Mahdi is going to receive messages from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is how Imam al-Mahdi would be corrected that is how Imam al-Mahdi would establish oneness of Allah on whole earth that is how Imam al-Mahdi would correct the the mixings that have come in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's deen that is how Imam al-Mahdi would get popular as well and we know that Imam al-Mahdi would keep on denying that he is Imam al-Mahdi but there has to be something known for his popularity what is that thing nothing but true dreams he would know things from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that no other scholar no other mujaddid no other Sufi, no other ruler in the world after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam knows Allah would teach him special knowledge from himself and that would be the reason of his, his fame so he would be recognized and he would become famous through his dreams because of his dreams and recently some international scholar who Allah has given a lot of fan following has said on stage that Na'udhu Billah Imam Adi won't need bizarre dreams Na'udhu Billah Dreams are never bizarre Even if you have a nightmare it, There has to be reason behind it Either there it is from Shaitan Either it is because of black magic Or whatever But the dreams in which you see Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And you receive messages from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala They are never bizarre They are messaging from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala They are divine so so be very corrected so uh, we have covered why who where how and now two w's left what will uh, sorry when will imam al mahdi come muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that al mahdi yu minni yamla al arda Imam Mahdi would come at a time when the earth would be filled with zulm and jor. When the earth would be filled with injustice. And like some popular scholar over there said, the earth would be dark and black and bleak. So this is what it is. The most famous people around the world, the ones known for people think they have the knowledge and they call themselves scholars as well. Allah knows what their intentions are. They are not recognizing the truth. They are denying the truth and they are denying even the true dreams from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For some reason, they think that Imam al Mahdi should come according to their own goggles according to their own picture of the world they are seeing the world and and scoping for imam al mahdi through their own lens and they are not recognizing the truth allah knows what their intentions are why is that and if such people who are nauzubillah being worshipped nauzubillah muslims all around the world nauzubillah are worshipping these so called scholars whatever they say are thought for that it is correct and whatever they deny people think it's wrong so people are nauzubillah not worshipping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are nauzubillah worshipping some people are worshipping their desires some people are worshipping their rulers and the religious people are nauzubillah worshipping these scholars and talk about uh, the injustice that's ruling the world uh, what, whatever is happening in Yemen, whatever is happening in Iraq, whatever is ISIS doing in the Middle East, whatever is happening in Syria, we don't even know, need to talk about Burma. Like, that is the war zones all over the world, Ukraine. And apart from that, the places we think are peaceful are filled with injustice. You are sitting over here, you have 5,000 rupees in your pocket, you go outside, the dollar rate has changed, you have 
3,000 rupees in your pocket and you're still counting them as 5,000. The injustice is being done to you right now, right away without you even knowing. The injustice is everywhere. The topic we discuss the most uh, and the youngsters come with is most is what? Their own parents are killing them. Their own parents are putting them in their chains and their own parents are not giving them their basic rights like the marriage of their choice. And the, and, and the, and the parents are taking their children as, as money machines. And sometimes uh, children are taking their parents as money machines. The injustice, we can go on for hours and hours and hours and that everywhere is filled with injustice and the world is dark and bleak and black. So there is no doubt that this is the time for Imam al-Mahdi. So Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, he will come when the world, with the earth would be filled with injustice. Zulma wa jawra and there will be zulm and there will be injustice and there will be darkness and there will be everything would be bad, bad around the world. So that's when. And now, what will Imam al Mahdi do? Imam al Mahdi, like we discussed initially, Imam al Mahdi would, esta would establish Allah's rule on the whole earth. And how he would do that? Initially, he would be a, be a very ordinary person, just like Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was, just like Prophet Ibrahim alaihi wasallam was, just like Prophet Dawood alaihi wasallam was, just like Musa alaihi wasallam was. All of them were ordinary people. They were not born to kings. They were not born with a golden spoon in their mouth. All were ordinary people. Allah gave them special knowledge. Allah gave them special signs that eventually they were recognized as the special chosen ones, the prophets. So that's how Imam al-Mahdi, he's not going to be a prophet. I'm saying that again and again and again, everyone should be very clear on that, that prophethood has ended on Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So Imam al-Mahdi would be an ordinary people, person initially, but eventually he would be recognized as a chosen one. And how? We have discussed before, through his dreams, through the special knowledge he would be receiving, through the dreams. Once he has been recognized, people will give bay'ah to him and Allah would fix him in one night, then he would lead the ummah into justice. And he would lead the ummah to, to the light, to the brightness, to the showerings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Imam al-Mahdi would be the leader of Muslims at the time of Malhamatul Uzma, the Armageddon, that's the or, the or the clash of civilizations that the Western people know. And Imam al Mahdi would also be the person who would lead who would be leading the Muslims in Ghazwatul Hind, as we know from several several references. So that's how it would go. There has to be chaos. We have covered all five W's with a bonus of one H. That's how. So that's now now look at the picture of the world at the time of Imam al-Mahdi. Imam al-Mahdi has to come at a time, has to give take bay'ah from people at a time when three would fight around Haram. And they would be the sons of the king, right? There would be fight or there would be a civil war in the land of Hijaz around Kaaba, Medina, that area, Arab land. Okay? There has to be war. Look at the picture of the world. There has to be civil war in Hijaz, in Middle East. There has to be a rift between the worshippers of idols and the followers of Imam al-Mahdi because Imam al-Mahdi has to lead Ghazwat al-Hind as well. And Imam al-Mahdi has to be known by some or many people. Obviously, initially it would be very few people. He has to be known through his dreams and he must have some special knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So look at the picture of the world. And, 
And look at the time we are living in. The world is full with, filled with darkness. We are in Pakistan and the people are following Imam Mahdi at this time. He is being recognized through his dreams. And there has there is a rift between the followers of idols and the followers of Imam al Mahdi or the followers of Trudin. And there is a situation in Middle East that they are struggling. And recently, you know, uh, uh, King, King uh, Salman, son, what do you call Crown Prince Muhammad bin Salman, has put some of his cousins in custody, and there has been a lot of uh, corruption charges and so on. There are rifts, and there was a there was a rumor that uh, Muhammad bin Salman is missing. Allah knows he was really missing or not, but he was out of the scene for several weeks or months, probably. So that's the picture of the world, and we are living at that time. And we know the person has been recognized as Muhammad Qasim bin Abdul Karim. Yuati ismu hu ismi wa ismu abihi ismu abi. His name is like the name of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and his father's name is like the name of the father of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And other signs also fall true. He is being known through his true dreams, and the picture of the world is, is exactly like Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told. So this is to clarify to you guys, uh, to the English speaking audience and to all of the people who follow the Nozubilla, not only follow but Nozubilla worship the international uh, celebrity scholars. You must clarify yourself according to the true Ahadith and Quran and be very clear that Imam al-Mahdi is among us. He is being recognized and he will give bay'ah in Hijaz, there's no doubt he will be in Medina and then he will go to Mecca and that he will uh, he will take bayah from people at the uh, near near Kaaba. So be very clear about that. So Imam al Mahdi is among us, and all of the rumors and all of the uh, all of the uh, propaganda that is being done against him is obviously false, and th that is being done on purpose. Uh, I don't want to comment too much on that. So, uh, so I wanted to cover all the uh, aspects of Imam Mahdi, the whole topic uh, in this short uh, lecture, and we will continue uh, this, inshallah, every Friday uh, venue and the time uh, would uh, would be like announced later. So, whoever wants to come on uh, from the people from online audience, you have to go to slash join اقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا محمد